Today we remember the incomparable life of Nelson Mandela. Now this House traditionally gathers to pay tribute to those who have led our country. It is unusual for us to meet to honour the leader of another. Why was it so essential that we should commemorate the life of President Mandela in this way? For simple reasons. He is an enduring and unique symbol of courage, hope and the fight against injustice. He teaches us the power of forgiveness, showing no bitterness towards his captors, just the love of a country that could be so much better if all of its people could be free. And he demonstrates, even to the most sceptical, the power of people and politics to change our world. That is why we gather here today. So on behalf of my party, I send the deepest condolences to his widow, Grasha Michelle, the Mandela family, and all of the people of South Africa. We mourn with them. Today is an opportunity to remember the extraordinary life and the extraordinary story of Nelson Mandela. He led a movement, the ANC, that liberated a country. He endured the suffering and sacrifice of 27 years in prison. A son unable to attend his mother's funeral, a father unable to attend his son's. But in the face of such oppression, his spirit never bent or broke. Offered the chance of release in 1985, after more than 20 years in jail, on the condition that he give up the armed struggle, he refused. I cannot sell my birthright, nor am I prepared to sell the birthright of my people to be free, he said. We honour him too because of the remarkable person the world found him to be after he walked out of prison in 1990, in those scenes we all remember. As his old comrade Archbishop Desmond Tutu said, suffering can embitter its victims, but equally it can ennoble the sufferer. There can be nothing more noble than determining not to seek revenge on your oppressors, but to seek reconciliation with them. He truly was, as Archbishop Tutu said, an icon of magnanimity. That is why he became not just the leader of a struggle, but truly can be described as the father of a nation.